Hi you guys, Sasha with Pinwheels Quilting in Valdosta, Georgia. So I thought I would get kind of cozy in this chair and we would have just a little miniature story time. So we've promoted on Facebook um, the novel from Ricky Timms, the Lizzie Albright and the Attic Window book. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and what we have available and just pique your interest even more than it already is. So to start off with, behind me, let me zoom in, these are the Lizzie Albright fabrics. So we have them on the top and the bottom. You can't see it. Um, my chair is blocking it. But these fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanted to let you know that we have skillfully um, designed our backdrop to go with what we're talking about today. So here's the book, um, Lizzie Albright in the Attic Window. And it is... Um, a six by nine inch paperback book it is comprised of 352 pages so they say that this book is for the young and the young at heart so I know the majority of you guys you're just adults that are young at heart you're just fun and just fun <laughs> so um, this book might be for you so I'm gonna read you a little excerpt from the book um, and See what you guys think so comment where you're watching from let me know if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay so it's about three o'clock eastern standard time right now here in valdosta okay so the overview says lizzie albright a red-headed freckle-faced girl from overland park kansas is celebrating her 10th birthday on christmas eve 1964. An impending winter storm is approaching as Lizzie and her family travel to Cordelia, Kansas, where they plan to spend the holidays with Granny in the McHale family mansion. Ooh. An imaginative, imaginative young girl, an antique quilt, a goose named Greta, a cursed kingdom combine as the foundation for a fantasy, a fantastic fantasy filled with surprise, wonderment, betrayal, mystery, and intrigue. The only thing to expect is the unexpected because not everything is as it seems. So that is, oh my gosh, I'm hooked. Like, I want to know what happens. So the neat thing about this book is um, it also includes maps and illustrations in it. And you can learn a bit of Scottish brogue and inspire any fellow bookworms in your life. So here's the book. Um, and I'll flip through it just a little bit so y'all can see. Um, let me find a little picture to show you so see there are just illustrations as you flip through so we cannot wait to start reading this book i don't know which one of us is going to get to it first but we're all kind of running and gunning to start reading it so then in addition so this is the book this is the novel so um any kids grandkids in your life or you um, might enjoy this book so then in addition we also have the pattern for this book so um it's referenced in the book this pattern is in addition we have a half yard bundle make the entire quilt up but it will make the majority of it so we have that as well so um those are comprised of the fabrics behind me as well as additional fabrics um and if you want to see them all um you go to our website pinwheelsquilting.com and just type in lizzie albright and you can see all the individual fabrics um you can see the kit you can see the book you can see the pattern we have everything so we are super super excited about this um hi you guys thank you for tuning in happy thursday it's almost friday um how's all of your weather we uh in south florida so we're in south georgia and um southern florida i guess is experiencing some hurricane weather so hope you guys are all safe so then another cool thing about this book we just found out so are y'all is anyone familiar with the goodreads choice awards it's goodreads choice awards so apparently the goodreads choice awards is um the only major book let's see the only major book awards that's decided by the public so hi Kiana you want to say hi I'm sure hey girl hello so we're actually talking about this book Lizzie Albright in the Attic window Ooh. yeah it's gonna be a cool book cool so um anyway are, Kiana are you familiar with the Goodreads Choice Awards no okay I was just curious if it was like a well-known thing or whatever I've heard 
Oh, Goodreads. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. So this book was actually nominated by write-in votes for the Goodreads Choice Awards, and it's actually going to the semi-final round. Um, so let's see, it says, the only major book awards uh, decided by the public. Now we need your vote for the semi-final round. So um, pretty cool. So y'all know that this book has to be good. Just that little excerpt that I read you is like, I'm dying to know what happens. So you know it's going to be good. Anyway, okay, so that is all I had. I just wanted to tell you about this book, um, Lizzie Albright in the Attic Window. Um, I wanted to tell you about the pattern that we have. And then we also have the half yard bundle um, comprised of 44 half yard pieces. So just to show you, like, I'm like straining to pick this up. I mean, this is, this is a lot of fabric right here. So um, we hope that you will give this book a read. Let us know what you think. Um, and we can compare notes on it. Um, hope everyone has a good day. Happy Thursday, and we will see you soon. Bye.